Welcome to JSTOR! We have a lot of wonderful content that is freely available to the public, but logging into an institutional account will unlock access to even more great content and features. First things first, check if you are authenticated. If you see your institution's name in the top center of any JSTOR page, congratulations, you're all set! If you don't, stay calm and click Log in through your library to fix that situation. Let's suppose you're a student writing a paper off campus. We make suggestions based on the geolocation of your IP address, but you can also use the search box to find a specific institution. There are two options that might appear, login or more info. A login link will direct you to your institution's login page so you can enter your credentials in their system to be authenticated for remote access. More info means that your school has a different authentication method set up for JSTOR access. You should check with your library for instructions on how to authenticate if this is the case. One option is a generic remote username and password, which your librarian can provide. In this scenario, you will enter your credentials on the left side of the page. In either case, when you've logged in successfully, you will see the name of your institution in the top center of the page. So remember, log in to get the best access to the most stuff on JSTOR. Questions? Contact JSTOR support.